Hey good people and welcome back to the channel. In a few moments, I'm going to share another unpopular opinion from the reality TV series Merit at First Sight Nashville. And yes, this opinion is bound to spark some conversation, but I promise, the longer I talk about it, the more sense it'll begin to make. So for this video, I will discuss Kirsten and Eris individually, and I will explain why I believe that they should have been matched as a couple, and why their marriage would have flourished. Now without any further delay, let's jump right in. Ever since Murder First Sight Nashville first aired, the two most interesting cast members in my opinion would have to be Kirsten and Eris. Now they happen to be married to two cast members that fans of the show like very much, but Kirsten and Eris have gotten off to a very rocky start in their respective marriages. With Kirsten, I truly believe that she came on the show with the desire of getting married to her forever partner. However, Kirsten's biggest issue was that she wasn't honest with herself prior to agreeing to go on Married at First Sight. In my opinion, Kirsten truly wants a man that embodies all the personality traits that Shaq has. But in Kirsten's mind, a man with those traits has no shot at getting out of the friend zone unless she's attracted to him physically and unless he can give her that good old pickle tickle to her satisfaction. In other words, looks and quality of sex are the two things that Kirsten really needs in order to open herself up to the possibility of being in love. And sadly, this is why many of her past relationships have failed. Kirsten has admitted to being very picky in how she selects men, and she's admitted that she's had a number of men who've been committed to her in the past, but they have cheated on her. To all the ladies out there, the uncomfortable truth is that if physical attraction and sex game are your top criteria in choosing a man, and you actually find one that likes you in return, then just know that there are other women out there that are also on the hunt and they're looking to either replace you as a girlfriend or they just want to get in where they fit in. Supply and demand. So in my opinion, this has been Kirsten's experience and instead of being open to changing how she selects men, she reverts back to what she knows, which is why she hasn't even given brother Shaq a chance. Now brother Eris is a different story. When Eris was picked to be on the show, I thought that the powers who selected him must have been high off that good stuff. I mean, Eris was upfront in admitting that he had never been in love before and that he was a reformed ladies man. Now some of the ladies out there are asking themselves, how could a guy like Eris, who's almost 40 years old, have never been in love before? Well, as a fellow guy that's close to Eris' age, I can offer a possible explanation as to why Eris is the way that he is. Over the past 20 years, one of the best and worst inventions in the history of mankind has to be the internet. And I say this because the internet has made the process of finding a cuddy buddy more streamlined and conquest that usually took guys several days or weeks to finish could only be done in a matter of hours with the help of the internet. In my opinion, entities like Black Planet, MySpace, Yahoo Chat, and Tinder have all played a role in the diminished existence of courting in the dating process. And I bring up the internet because it's also in my opinion that the bulk of Eris's dating experiences have been through online dating or finding women on social media. In my opinion, it's clear that Eris doesn't have any issues getting women, but it appears as if he has issues related to engaging in meaningful conversations with women. So if he's truly never been in love before, then it's likely because he wants a woman of substance who's also physically attractive and meets all of his criteria. Now, in my opinion, Jasmine is an amazing catch. She's definitely better than most of the women that Eris has ever dealt with. But Eris, like Kristen, is very picky, and he's using Jasmine's flaws as a reason to keep his distance, despite Jasmine giving the process her all in order to make the marriage work. So here we have Kristen, the beauty queen who picks bad guys, and Eris, the professional eligible bachelor who's never been in love before, apply to be on Married at First Sight. And if I'm the Married at First Sight matchmaker, I'm putting these two together, and I'm guaranteeing that they remain together for many years to come. For one, it's a fact that neither Kirsten nor Eris would attempt to give the Married at First Sight process a chance unless they are at least 95% attracted to their partner. When Kirsten and Eris described what they liked in a potential partner, they were actually describing one another perfectly. And if you remember Eris clapping when he saw Jasmine walking down the aisle at their wedding, I'm willing to bet the house that if he saw Kirsten walking down the aisle, the brother would have passed out like he caught the Holy Ghost. Secondly, Eris was very vocal with Jasmine 
about wanting a woman that had a certain level of freakiness to her. If all you remember during the bachelorette party, Kirsten was getting loose on the dance floor with the strippers, while Jasmine was very conservative. And deep down, Eris would prefer to be with an adventurous woman. I'm also willing to bet that once Kirsten put that thing on Eris, she would have had him eating out of the palm of her hand, and Eris would have been looking for Kirsten in the middle of the day with the flashlight, and he would sleep on her booty each and every night for good measure. With Eris being under Kirsten's spell, he would be compelled to do whatever she asked him to do, and he would feel compelled to change his bachelor ways to make sure that he's the husband she needs him to be. Thirdly, Kirsten specifically asked to be matched with a guy that was a little seasoned, and with Eris being almost 40 years old, Kirsten would have no reason to reject him. And lastly, while the Bible does say don't trust a big button to smile, it also says that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. It's no secret that Kirsten is blessed in the backside and has a smile that could light up Las Vegas. But underneath her exterior is an amazing personality that has yet to be explored. And through faith in God, I believe that once Eris takes the time to explore Kirsten's personality, he will appreciate all she has to offer. But that's just my opinion, and I would like to know what you all think about it. Do you agree that Kirsten and Eris should have been matched, or do you believe that this match would have been a disaster in the making? Please leave all comments below, and I'll be sure to apply to everybody. Until next time, stay tuned and stay safe. Peace.